We'll guide you through how to download and install Bliss Shaders in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, go and quit Minecraft. Now what you need to do is open up a web browser. Before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They might go to Minecraft server hosting business. You can scroll down to check out their awesome features. For example, one click install mod pack, so it's super easy to play with mods with your friends. DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support so you can get the help anytime you need it. Ultra latency and so much more. So if you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below in the description and the pinned comment. And at the moment, you can get 30% off your first invoice. So it's a great time to go and check them out. But to continue with the guide, let's go and get Bliss Shaders. So you can go and type it in like so, just add Minecraft to the end as well. Then you can come to CurseForge at the top here. Scroll down and you can read through the description. There's some useful info there. But to go and install them, go and click on Files. Now we can scroll down. So this most recent version here is not compatible with Distance Horizons. That's fun with me, I don't use it. So I'll click on the three dots to the right and click on download file. Do just note the game version here. The highest is 1.20.1, that's fine. We'll go and click on download file and wait for it to start. It's now downloaded and next we need to go and get something called Optifine. And Optifine is what allows us to go and use shaders in Minecraft. And it's essentially an optimization tool. So go and search for Optifine and come to optifine.net. At the top here, go and click on downloads, come down here and click on show all versions and just get that same version that we mentioned a moment ago. As I said, for me, it's 1.20.1. Yours may be different, so do just check. Go and click on download like so. You're going to get taken to an ad wall. So do just be aware this is an ad here, not Optifine. So go to the top right and go and click on skip like so. And what you can then do is go and click on download and it should now go and start downloading. Now come out of your web browser and open up your file explorer and come to your downloads. Then what you need to do is go and run Optifine. So go and double click on it. It should go and open up and you should see this. If you don't, maybe nothing happens or something else opens. It's because you don't have Java installed or maybe it's not working correctly. So just come and open up your web browser and go and search for Java or go straight to java.com. And what you can then do is go and download it, super simple, and install it. Then all you need to do is right click on Java, hover over open with, you can click on choose another app and find Java and go and click on always, and it should then work. If it still doesn't, you can do something called a jar fix, which we've got a guide on, which you can check out. So go and click on install once you've got it open and you'll think nothing's happening, but you'll then go and get a pop-up saying it's successfully installed. Now what you need to do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher Make sure Java is selected on the left here and go to the left of the play button and make sure Optifine is selected. Then go and click on play and Minecraft should go and start. Here we are, go and click on options and then video settings on the left and you can then go and click on shaders. I've already got some packs installed here but yours may be empty. And what you can do is click on shaders in the bottom left. Now what you need to do is go and go to your downloads and you want to go and drag in the bliss pack like so. There we are, we've now added it. It'll go and appear in Minecraft, here it is. And what you can then do is go and you can select it here or you can select it once you're in the game. Press done and now go and get into a world. So here we are in the world and look how awesome these shaders look. Some of my favorite shaders out there simply because they're quite subtle but you can still go and see the change and I really do like the lighting effects they go and use. As I said before as well, you can also go and decide what shaders you are currently using while in the game. You could go and completely turn them off as well. To do that, you pause the game, click on options, then go into video settings and then shaders and you can set a different pack or go and turn them off. And yeah, that's it. I just want to quickly go and give you a quick tour of this sort of island with the shaders on. I think the water looks really cool as well. So if you guys found this useful, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And if you need a Minecraft server, go and check out Apex. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video again. And I look forward to catching you in the next one when we can solve another one of your problems. Have an awesome day.